Hello ladies and gents, Ghost here back with another Jet video. Now this time around we're going to be talking peripherals. So what is the best way of controlling the jets? Is it the keyboard and mouse or is it the controller? Do the console guys have it easier in dogfighting and attacking ground targets or is it easier for the PC guys? Now as most of you will know I've spent almost all of my time in jets using keyboard and mouse but I wanted to explore this avenue a little bit, so I hooked up my Wii U Pro controller and I spent a few hours acclimatizing myself to the controls. So you can see the result of those few hours here in the background. Now I'm not going to pretend that a few hours spent flying with a controller can in any way replace the expertise that I've acquired by using keyboard and mouse to fly jets for a number of years. Of course, that would be absurd and Likewise, anybody who spent years using a controller will probably find it quite bewildering to change the keyboard and mouse. And I think the footage speaks for itself. You can see I'm not really doing great here, but I think that really comes down to the fact that I'm just so unused to using the controller. Now, I do know a number of people who use controller even though they play it on PC because they find that easier as a method of controlling the jets. Some of them are people who have come over from console and they're just simply more used to the controller. But upon using the controller, I definitely noticed a number of drawbacks to it over the mouse and keyboard that I would really like to share with you guys and hopefully encourage some of you to switch over to mouse and keyboard and give that a try if you haven't already. So the first big weakness of the controller is the lack of buttons. There really just isn't enough buttons for all the different functions that a jet has in Battlefield 4 compared to a mouse and keyboard. Mouse and keyboard is very intuitive. You have a button for almost every different function, so you're not going to end up muddling those things up in your mind. A great example is simply to take the analog sticks. So on one analog stick, you have pitch and roll, and on the other analog stick, you have your speed and you have your. On a keyboard, however, these are all, of course, on separate keys, WASD. Now, you may go ahead and argue that you also have pitch up and down and the jet roll on the mouse, the same way you have it on the right thumbstick. But we can get around this by actually binding pitch up to spacebar and binding pitch down to the left alt key or whatever key you choose. That's really the great thing when it comes to a keyboard. You have so many keys to choose from, you can really bind it to whatever you like. A great example of this is free looking. If you want to free look on PC, all you need to do is hit C on your keyboard, holding the right click on mouse and use your mouse to look around. On the other hand, if you want to do this on console, it becomes significantly harder. You have to click in the right thumbstick, which is already in use by your right thumb for actually controlling the jet. Then you have to hold the left trigger to free look, and then you have to use one of the thumbsticks in order to look around. And more likely than not, the sensitivity for looking around is going to be far too low compared to the sensitivity you actually use to control the jet. So you can see where I'm going with this. It really gets your brain in a muddle a lot of the time. I also find flying jets on the controller to be incredibly strenuous. Fortunately on PC, because of key bindings, we can just go ahead and bind pitch up to spacebar. All you have to do is rest that little thumb on the spacebar the whole time you're dogfighting and you will keep on pitching up. That way you can actually concentrate on your speed control, your switches via yawing and rolling and other things like that. If you're flying on console, Basically, this means you're going to have to hold the thumbstick in the same direction or almost the same direction in order to stay pitched up the entire time. I have the feeling really that thumbsticks aren't made to be held in the same direction for long periods of times. And you're talking that dogfights can last upwards of five minutes, which is a long, long time for your thumb to be holding that thumbstick in that same direction. Another gleaning issue with controllers for me is that you simply have less digits on your hands to control things. You have so many buttons on the front face of the controller, but you only have two thumbs, meaning if you have to press something on the D-pad or you have to press A, B, X or Y, or you know if you're using PlayStation controller, then those buttons, you're gonna have to take your thumb off of the thumbstick. In the middle of a dogfight, you really can't do that without losing speed or losing some sort of advantage within the dogfight. 
On PC, however, if you're using a keyboard, this usually only involves moving one digit a centimeter to the left or right in order to hit the next corresponding key. Another thing that came to my attention was just like for aiming as an infantry player, thumbsticks really don't give you the same amount of control that a mouse offers for aiming at a very small target from a very long range. So that's why I recommend the keyboard and mouse guys. If you're somebody who plays Battlefield 4 on PC, whether you're somebody who's come over from a console background and you're simply more used to using controllers to fly the jets, or maybe you're somebody who got into playing the jets and you only use controllers for the jets, but you use keyboard and mouse for infantry play, I thoroughly recommend giving the keyboard and mouse a go for flying the jets. Believe me, once you get used to it, you will not want to turn back. Now, some of you may be wondering why I didn't cover keyboard only. Some people do opt to substitute out their mouse hand for either the number pad or the arrow keys on the right of the keyboard. And really the answer for me is obvious. It just doesn't offer the same amount of precision that a mouse does. A key is either pressed or it isn't. So that really makes it very difficult to aim. Even a controller, a thumbstick has a certain amount of precision that a key doesn't. Some people do, however, prefer to dogfight with keyboard only, and then when they zero in on a ground target, they will actually switch their right hand over to the mouse. As for joysticks, I don't own a joystick myself, so I really can't comment on how good they are for flying the jets in Battlefield 4, but I do know that a lot of jet enthusiasts prefer to use them for certain jet simulators. So there you go guys, that's about all I have to say on the subject. I hope this sheds some light on why I opt to use the mouse and the keyboard to fly the jets and why I believe that that is the superior method of control. If you disagree with me or even agree with me, then let me know down below in the comments section. I would love to see some discussion on the topic. Thank you very much for watching the video guys and I'll see you all in the next one.